At Castel Gandolfo, you can see many domes. There's the big dome of the church right in the central square, the Church of San Tommaso. Right next to it, on top of the Pope's modest vacation home, there are two domes for telescopes, and they're all right there visible in Castel Gandolfo. We would like to think, it's our fantasy, our way of thinking, if you will, that prayer, that worship of God, is happening under all of these domes. It's interesting, when people come here to visit, they're often surprised and even a little shocked to find out the Vatican has its own astronomical observatory. And it takes some explaining. Uh, is this some kind of big exception? This is kind of the question. It's like, we'd say, well, no, this is the only Vatican institution that does research, but the Catholic Church has and does, has supported and does support science for centuries, thank you. In some sense, much of science was born out of the heart of the Church. Pope John Paul II and popes before him, and way back to St. Augustine, talked about the search for truth being in the two books, the book of scripture and the book of nature. And you can read each of those books and each one requires its particular skill, but the fundamental faith, we could say the faith in the unity of truth is that even if it seems to us those two books, science and faith, have some tension, disagree with each other, in the end, our faith is that the truth is one. They cannot disagree because God is the author of both books.